Hi there, my name is Sebastian Strop and I'm the Principal Solutions Architect at N2WS. In this video, we'll talk about a feature of N2WS version 3.1, Scheduled Recovery Scenarios. Previously, Recovery Scenarios allowed us to create a playbook on how a recovery of an entire set of workloads should occur. And this really simplifies the orchestration during a disaster recovery. Scheduled Recovery Scenarios allows me to do just that schedule a recovery scenario. Let me show you how this works. First, for our purpose, let's create a recovery scenario if you haven't already one in place. So I'm gonna create a recovery scenario. This is just a friendly name, this can be anything. So I'm gonna call this my SharePoint recovery. Next, I have to choose the policy that we're going to recover using this recovery policy. And that's the one that I have in mind. That's my SharePoint policy. You can also choose where this data is going to end up and the destination region. Now under recovery targets, you can now choose content of this particular policy. Now in my case, there's my SharePoint instance. So I'm gonna select that add selected, and that adds it to this recovery scenario. Of course, as previously already possible, you can now make changes to that configuration as well. And we also have a dedicated video for that. But let's take a closer look now at the ability to schedule these recovery scenarios. And the way we do that is go back to the recovery scenario details. And down here, this is where you can choose when we're going to schedule this recovery to occur. So I'm going to do that on my daily schedule that I have. And I have the option to either perform a dry run or an actual recovery. The vast majority of the time, you probably use that scheduled recovery for the purposes of a compliance report. Maybe every 90 days, every 180 days, I need to perform a disaster recovery. This will help with that. Now, I also have to choose the recipients. So who will receive this email once that dry run has been completed? In my case, I'm gonna choose myself. Now this will only work if you already configured the SES, the simple email service. So let's also make sure that we're gonna configure that as well. Don't forget that save button. And now we're gonna go up here to the settings, the server settings, and you're gonna find the simple email service under this tab. Now I have to turn this on. And this already assumes that you already performed the SAS configuration on the back end. If you haven't done that yet, you can also use this link, which will then take you to the SES management console. Now I've already performed that configuration, so I don't need to verify that email address again. And I can also choose what's the sender email address when we send out reports and configuration settings based on that configuration. So in my case, I'm gonna choose myself once again. And again, hit that save button at the bottom. And that's all there is to it. Now we can exit the server settings. And now we have a recovery scenario that is scheduled to run based on the schedule that we set. In my case, a daily. And I also chose to make that a dry run. So let's review this one more time. The schedule, the recipient, and what type of scenario are we gonna perform? dry run or an actual recovery. This is really useful because that essentially takes that disaster recovery drill planning completely off my plate and N2WS will then perform that for me and inform me of the results of the disaster recovery drill. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Thank you very much for joining me.